Right, so there's a train that passes by my house every now and again. So just, uh, just be aware of that because it's going to happen. We live with it. It's happening. So I've been drawing some princesses um, over on my TikTok channel and I thought today would be a good idea to try and do some more character design maybe. Something along the vein of this. If you want to see me draw that, then drop on by to my TikTok. <laughs> Cheeky shout out to that. But you're here to see what's in the box. What is this? Etcha, who are uh, this company, reached out to me and said they want to send me some watercolors. So I'm very interested to see what tiny package has for me. Uh, I, don't need that <laughs> I didn't even need that. Okay, let's see. Tiny mini palette. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I knew it was a mini palette, but I'm interested to see what it's going to look like. And here we go. Oh my gosh. This is exciting. Okay, very nice. Designed by Stephanie Law. Cool. A lady. We like supporting ladies. Ooh, that's an unpleasant sound. <laughs> Am I taking this off? Right. There we go. Okay, it comes with this little Etchelab logo. Oh, that's for your swatches. I know that. <gasps> oh my God. That is super cute. Oh no, it's a little bit broken. Oh no, I'm so sad. I wonder why that happened. Oh, well, mm, maybe not enough padding in this. Oh, I'm so sad, that's so cute. Oh, well, at least I got this little tiny mini one. Tiny mini one. Etcha, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. It might be my mistake, but I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna cover that one, rest in peace. That's kind of sad. You didn't come to this video for darkness, but it came to you. We got this cold press water pad, which will be really nice as well. To try, and I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Just a sadness prevailing for the rest of the video. Oh, nice, yep, yep, it's a watercolor. <laughs> Paper. Uh, so yeah, what I wanted to do is just draw because I'm getting this idea, guys, to do, I don't know, I like drawing these ladies and I either want to do a comic of it or I want to do like mini portraits that people can print out or buy prints of, of like Tudor ladies or something that they can put in like their dolls houses or just have like a cute sticker. I don't know, it's, it's an evolving idea. So I kind of want to try it out with some watercolor and see how it goes with <laughs> this tiny palette so maybe we should do the doll's house idea where we make tiny little tiny little portraits and there's a tiny little cat for good measure <laughs> Marty, you're so cute okay let's get started so i got my little pesto pencil case excuse me pesto because i got lots of watercolors in here I've also got this white gouache which I will be using and also some blue gouache which I just like so let's see how we're gonna feel this mini little mini cute so cute <laughs> I can't get over it it's quite cute <clears throat> right let's try fill this guy in the middle because he's got the biggest surface area I feel like this is just gonna get messy for me because that's just who I am as a person but I will try my best to make it satisfying. Okay, let's do a little time lapse of me filling these in because I feel like it's not going to be that interesting. Let's go. Yeah, I want to do like mini portraits, so I want like a good size. So I feel like if we do something like this as a size, we'll do like four little mini ones. I think that would be cute. And I think that would be like quite a sweet little thing to have. 
see, I don't know what to use now because these brushes are quite big. Well, if I use this to like lay it down the colour. I've not used watercolours in a while, so I'm kind of hoping that this goes to plan. I'm more of a alcohol marker at the moment kind of gal, but let's see. Always forget with watercolour that a little goes a long way. Definitely more difficult painting a little bit smaller, but uh, hey, let's try. So I am really into the idea of uh, doing another comic, but with this kind of period clothing, this kind of period, but the problem is I don't really have a story, I'm just like enjoying drawing these kind of people. I think it's because uh, the book that I was trying to write is kind of in the vein of this time. Or I like the idea that you don't really know what era it is because it's going to be like a fantasy world so it doesn't really matter. Well it matters but you know what I mean. I like the idea of playing with mixing eras up kind of thing but I don't know I need to figure it all out if that makes sense. when you zoom out it's like oh it is actually quite small uh yeah i don't think it's quite the same style as this but i think that's the way it goes when you try to use pencil over a toothy grip paper you know what i'm gonna dull down the background a bit as well because i feel like it's too crazy Yeah, I think that looks better now with this like suggestive background even though it was suggestive before but it's like suggestive or suggested <laughs> I kind of like her what do you guys think mm -hmm. maybe I need to color in her headband okay let's go for round two kind of making this one a little bit bigger this time as in just doing sort of a portrait rather than a full body figure if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense whatever I'm too impatient for watercolors I think that's what I've established like I can't wait for it to dry long enough I just can't do it physically I think I just go 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 when I do stuff so it just doesn't make sense for me to use watercolors I used to love watercolours as well and I now I'm just like no what were you doing sweet summer child like you don't have the patience for that at all and I, I even as I'm saying it I'm still putting wet paint on wet paint I'm still doing it even as I'm saying I don't have the patience for this <laughs> oh I'm funny Ugh, gonna laugh or you cry Okay, I'm gonna get my hair dryer and we'll be back in two seconds. You know what, guys, though? It has made kind of a nice texture here, which I really don't wanna mess with because I think it's quite pretty. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to leave that as it is because I think it looks nice. Will she be able to do it, though? That's the big question. Will I be able to resist the too much gene? This is when I ruin it because I go in with a pencil. But this time it's like it's not too small, so it might not be as bad. Came out much pinker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I just think the pencil's probably not working too great with the uh, the toothiness of the paper, but yeah, well, what can you do? We're just having fun. We're experimenting and uh, it's not a biggie. Let's try one more and if I hate it again, then we're gonna finish. I don't hate it, I think, I, I think it's gonna look cute with, like if I make some little frames and cut them out, I think that might be cute. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna at least try it.
yeah, I'm getting distracted. What of it? Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, I cut a wonky frame out of a bit of cardboard and let's see how it looks, just for fun. Cute! I'm gonna make a few more. Uh, I'm gonna cut this out again and then stick it to the cardboard. And then maybe paint the cardboard, I don't know. I kind of like the, the rustic-y shoddiness of it, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think it kind of goes with the painting, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a couple more of these frames and uh, see you in a moment. A huge fan of this final one but I'm gonna give her a little frame anyway because I think they I think they're cute even though they're not my favorite thing in the world now is this gonna be my friend this PVA glue or is it gonna be like no I've been completely stuck for seven years how did I manage that this is gonna be a little bit of a janky frame I don't know what the point of this is, it's just for fun. Uh, let's see, did I cut this one correctly? No, I did not. Whoa, that is big. Calm down. Come on, you can do it. It's, I've made a really thin, thin line here at the top. I could look kind of cute, like double frame, but I don't know if I can be bothered to put that much effort into something that I don't like that much. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's kind of cute. But it's nothing to write home about, is it? And don't be like in the comments like, oh, have confidence. No, I shall never. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. I just don't, I, I, I feel like this stuff is just for fun though, obviously, because what else? What am I going to do with this stuff once it's... Ah. Once they're done. If any patrons want one of these, shout now. Because you can have it. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> oh, I, I'm an idiot. I, I did that right on there. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's see if we can fix it. I have a different sized frame, I guess. Get in. Get broken. Oh, why did I do that? Oh my god, it's one accident after the other. Just scratched my table. Good job, me. Hey, come on out. Yay! Right. Does everyone like the haphazard way I did that? <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna cut a small. Can so we get size variations? Actually, I think I'm gonna make that one thinner and then that will be like really cute size variation of frames too much glue but it is okay it is okay we all make mistakes me a little bit more than maybe you but <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter right okay i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut her up she doesn't deserve extra space there we go. Cute. Two frames. I feel like I'm gonna stick this one on top of there now because it'd be like a deeper frame. Might as well do all three of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting excited now, guys. I'm excited for this. Come on, come on. I want this gone. This junky extra bit. Go away. I don't want you. I just scored my nail off a bit there. This is just a hectic video. Um, <laughs> the vibes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. This is very thin, but it's going to be like an accent on top of the double frame. <laughs> Too much crap around. Also, I want to trim you a bit. You're looking a bit 
from me. If it had some gold paint, it would be cool to paint them gold. Gold? But I don't. Or do I? Maybe I do. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Why is the glue so much? Why are you doing this? Okay. Is this right? Yes. Now let's see, we're going to put this one on top like this. Again, way too much glue, but the good thing about PVA is that it does dry clear. Okay, those are the two portraits so far. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Uh, and now I'm going to do a long one for her. A long portrait. So I'm going to cut her out to be... Probably like this. I'm going to make it a bit wider because I need space for the frame. So I'm not doing that mistake again. kind of like the wonkiness of the frames. I think it adds to the character of them a bit like little mouse frames or something. Mouse frames one. <laughs> for no reason at all I have made some tiny little portraits because it's fun. We like fun. Come on glue. Right. There we are. What do you guys think? Cute or crappy? Bit of both I would say but fun nonetheless. Why don't you guys give this a go at home? It's kind of fun. Um, I keep saying fun, but it was. I, if I had gold paint, I think I would like paint them gold or I might paint them brown and see what they do. They would be really cute for like a doll's house, I think. Maybe they're a bit big, um, but like a, over a fireplace or something or hall, hallway of a doll's house. Again, if you're a patron, shout if you want one of these because, oops. Um, I will be giving them to you if you want them. And yeah, don't forget guys, I'm going to TikTok. I'm building um, some comic stuff on there. Building. Trying out, testing out some comic stuff on there. So if you want to see more like this content, um, check that out. And yeah, thank you to Etchalabs for sending me this little palette. I don't know what happened with this one. It's a shame. I don't expect them to send me another one because it was a gift. So, um, that's a shame, but, uh, thank you anyway. This one's really cute and sweet, and it inspired these mini portraits. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, the hectic vibes that it was. <laughs> See you next time. Bye!